Switch up. Switch down. Area open. Area closed. The security measures and compartmentalization in this area of the facility were daunting. But I could understand them. But all of these precautions would be useless to those fools if he should force his way into our world. The voices in my head whispered knowledge to me that made humanity seem merely a tiny anthill in the cosmos. He was Cthulhu, a god of horror, who would rise in terrible splendor from Riley. My grandfather, once human, had transformed himself into an inferior manifestation of him by means of a bizarre ritual. And even this would be sufficient to tear down all of the Nazis' barriers. Human worms. Mortal fools. Hello everyone and welcome back to Robert the Anderson and the Legacy of Cthulhu. This time we start with the axe and only with the axe. Gas, which does not mean petrol in German. It does mean gas in the sense of non-fluid, non-solid, non-plasma material. Let's destroy this window here. And I like that the game comments on all the switch puzzles. This door here is thoroughly out of place. So anyway, I think, yeah, this is a dead end. So let's see what we have over there. Uh, more windows. Oh, we've got a corpse. Could be good or bad. Looks like we can't even enter these, even with a key or anything. They just seem to be closed and that's pretty much it. Oh well, I guess we're going to continue uh, through this hallway then. More gas. And anything here? I don't know why I'm smashing all these windows, I just feel like doing it. Here we have a um, darker door. Yeah, this game is f way, way too dark in, in some areas. It's really difficult to, to say. You can't you can't really do anything with the gamma. So, oh, there's... Wow, this... Is that the world's largest rifle? Because that looks huge. But I don't seem to be able to interact with these doors at all. Well, maybe they are opened later. Actually, that's some ammunition there. Didn't see that. So no, I do not get a gun with that. So I need to pick up the gun separately, as it seems. So let's just check these hallways again, just in case I missed stuff. And you can actually regulate quite a lot of stuff in the the config file for these different chapters, but I, I'm not familiar, all that familiar with Game Maker. So I, I did could increase the resolution and stuff, but uh, to be honest, it's okay. So here we have a gun and stuff. It's also really dark. Uh, playing around with all the settings and stuff is not always recommended because here we go even got a bunch of bullets with it because for example running the game in 1080p is not a problem I have few frame drops yeah, you can say about the game what you want there are few frame drops of course you could argue that this game is is so old that there shouldn't be shouldn't be any frame drops in the first place but then again there's a lot of Okay, let's use that. There's a lot of uh, games on Steam right now. Even though Steam Greenlight uh, is going to be going to be abolished soon, uh, there's still uh, quite a lot of games on there that use a lot of like standard asset, and they are they're quite low res and everything. I've got this gun here too now. Got some very upbeat music. So it seems like these doors weren't open or anything after this, so let's just let's just continue through that other door. So anyway, what I want to say is that even even those really really simple games, some of them perform quite poorly. So just because oh I've got oh, I've got light here now. Okay, requires a key. So just because a game is very simple, it doesn't necessarily mean it's it's optimized or anything. Okay, so there's another one of you guys. Let's kill you from a distance. For example, this game here has very long loading times. And even today, and back in the day, they were outrageous. Does this barrel explode? We'll find out. It does not, at least not with one shot. Okay, I can hear some sort of growling. Or can I? Well, maybe not. Anyway, here's some more ammunition. Please pick that up, thank you. I don't really like going to this container. And my, no, I'm not stuck again. So let's pop a quick save here before we get stuck in there. Then again, this could be a level that just kills you if you reload, so that's not necessarily helpful. 
so yeah and interestingly the, the game still needs really long to load it needs about half a minute for a level even after you die and the level should already be loaded and that doesn't really sound all that much but considering the the quality of this game it should literally take a second to load for example um i've been playing uh, unreal recently of course unreal is a lot older than this game it's 10 years older but then again, that game loads instantly. There's essentially uh, almost no loading time. There's maybe a second or two. That also goes for a lot of other games that are a bit older. So it's mostly a matter of optimization, I guess. So, but and interestingly, the game doesn't load long enough because the, what you can't recall the briefing, there's the, the monologue at the beginning. More gas. Okay, whatever that did. So the monologue. This doesn't look safe at all. At the beginning of the level, it's usually cut off, so I I just ripped the audio files from the game and then reinsert them. Well, it's not really ripping because you can just just take them from it's just a health pack we don't need. What the hell is? What was that? Oh, I guess there's 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 actual gas in there. So oh well. So let's just get in there and push push the button. There we go. That wasn't good, so we're almost dead. That's just brilliant. Can we go through here? We cannot. So yeah, so the, the loading time, oh, okay, so that is open now. I guess we have to walk over these pipes here. So the the loading times are still not long enough, so the audio gets cut up, so I I just lifted the, uh, the backdrop and the audio from, okay, how do I get, Onto these pipes in the first. I guess could just try to jump, really. <coughs> yep, that seems to work just fine, to be honest. From the game folders and just insert it at the, at the start of these LPs. I mean, it's not that nice to have it with a static image, but all the game gives you is. I can't believe I made that on my first try. It's give you a loading bar across the image, so that's not really helpful. And yeah, that's really uh, that's really all there is. So I don't really think I can do more. There's also a little bit of dialogue whenever the stage starts, so you can't really play it at the beginning there either. It would collide with that. Okay, so... I guess we need a key here. So I guess I missed a key somewhere. Because I don't recall... Come across one, but maybe maybe there's one somewhere. So let's hope we can actually go... Get back on here. I'm pretty sure we will take falling damage if we just dump down. So that's... Oh, there we go. Oh, how devious of you, game. Okay. Not quite sure why I made that noise, or why something made that noise, but something did. Also, Robert is really good at balancing on pipes while, while holding holding this gun here. Yeah, the gun here, you can't see our feet or our hand for that matter, unless you have the shotgun, then you can actually see, or generally a rifle type weapon, which is a bit odd. Also, your hands don't look like anything, they look, there's no code or anything, so there's, okay, could you please stay open? Could you? Okay, here we go. Anybody here? Wow, that's, okay, ghost Nazis. I'm okay with that. We. We've seen like skeletons with guns and stuff. Ghost Nazis aren't really like the most surprising thing we have here. And this this saucepan here is steaming like crazy. Okay, so. okay. Horst Vessels soup. Twelve times one per five liter uh, tin cans. Ingredients: flour, salt. Um, I forgot what those are called. Essentially, some type of like roots, essentially, uh, meat, carrots, potatoes. Oh, oh, it says none of those are not actually ingredients. It says like uh, meat, carrots, and, and potatoes. They march with the soup in spirit. So it's not actually in there. You just can imagine that it's in there. Yeah, Horst Vessel. He's he's mainly known for the so-called Horst Vessel song, which is essentially like a, a Nazi hymn. Oh, damn. You died very quickly. You died in one shot. That's not really true for most enemies. Okay, so any any more ghosts? 
We didn't really achieve much here, did we? I mean, there's a Cthulhu symbol here. Can we? Oh, that they've got Cthulhu bedding. That's wow. They've got Cthulhu merchandise here. That is pretty rad. The thing is, I don't think I achieved anything here. I mean, there's an altar here. So, oh, I guess we can use this. So did that do anything? I mean, there's like voices in, in the background. So okay, I'm pressing keys, but nothing really seems to happen. It seems like a couple of these doors are now actually open, or at least one of them. So let's see what awaits us here. Anybody here? Nope. Can we use this? Nope. And for some reason this, this room here causes frame drops. Not quite sure what's up with that, but never mind. So this one here is empty, but if the other doors are open as well, maybe we do, do have access to some new areas here now. Or at least we can get... Rifle. What the? <laughs> that was bad. That was really bad. So that caused a ton of damage. So we now have that. Oh damn! We've got grenades. We've got one grenade. That is. So, hmm. Quite sure whether that's any use. This could probably explode if we shoot it. Well, let's see. Yep. Alright, let's try that again without dying. I skipped those other weapons because... So where where's that enemy even? Because I prefer to just not die. And I can use health more than I can use. So where's that enemy actually? Ooh, got some delicious, delicious brain. Oh, there you are. So, oh, you just, you just appeared behind me. That's always good. But these guys here die with one shot. So I guess being... Like a naked zombie isn't isn't very productive. So I think walls will not block this explosion, so maybe I should just not oh I have to blow this up. So I could just of course fling the grenade. If I had the grenade, but I'm not quite sure whether I've got enough health to actually get the grenade and then fling it. Not quite sure whether I would be safer here. Probably not. And also the you this door is open, but you kind of go through the wall here, so I can't really shoot around this corner, I think. So... That actually didn't do all that much damage, so I think we're good. So... Let's just move around here. And... Oh! Oh! Please don't... Let me take too much falling damage. <coughs> no, we didn't actually take falling damage here. That was pretty good. Oh, hello. So it's you again. That like machine gun zombie dude. Who wasn't really all that impressive the last time we fought him. There we go. So, And delicious, delicious brains. Yeah, it looks like Robot isn't really... He's really profiting from staying here. Let's put it that way. Can we take a weapon? We can't take a weapon, can we? No, we cannot. Then again, it looks like it's made of flesh and it's probably integrated into your your body, so maybe you don't want that. So, let's eat some more delicious, delicious brains. And we don't really need those. Let's check whether we can enter this uh, building here. Nope, we cannot. These doors, they look so out of place. You've got those metal doors. Those look way more convincing. Anyway, we don't need that brain right now. So instead, let's see what we have over here. Any enemies visible? Not right now. But maybe the, that will change? Or maybe not. We'll see. Let's check what's up here. More delicious brains. Ah, delicious brains. I just said that. Okay, so I guess we're not just here for the delicious brains, are we? What are all the brains doing here, anyway? Okay, after some more walking around like headless chicken, I found out that we have to simply use the switch here. 
And there we go. See you next time.